After about six months of passive aggressive preaching and praying from my dad and from my brother at our local church gathering where my dad is one of the ministers and my husband is also one of the ministers. So about six months of this talking about how we're being bitter and unforgiving in preaching and prayer, all sorts of passive aggressive stuff that everybody is noticing and even my children are noticing. I've started to have regular panic attacks after church particularly on Wednesday night, probably because it's a smaller group, and so my dad and brother feel freer to make those kinds of passive-aggressive, spiritually abusive statements in a church setting. Anyway, so about six months after this, um, my husband and I were talking, and I told him he wanted to know why I wasn't taking walks anymore in our neighborhood, and I said, because I'm afraid I'm going to run into one of my family members by myself, and they're going to do something rude, and it's going to trigger me. And he said, then it's time for us to move. We lived next door to my parents at the time, and I had run into my dad as I was leaving the house to go places. Sometimes I would see him out there working in the yard, and the look he would shoot me would be enough to trigger me. Because nobody can trigger you like someone you've grown up with. And so anyway, my husband said, okay, it's time for us to move. And But in the immediate, we decided to stop coming to church on Wednesday nights. My husband wasn't being bothered by it. He's used to dealing with people who are abusive on a regular basis. And of course, it wasn't his family, so it didn't trigger him in the same way but he didn't feel comfortable continuing to attend. And we were all attending over Zoom, but we didn't feel comfortable being there anymore. He didn't feel comfortable coming because I wasn't comfortable being there. And me and my daughters were having major anxiety, panic attacks, dissociative episodes um, in church because of all the abuse. Like we just couldn't manage it. So we decided to move. And we also decided we're not gonna attend on Wednesday nights anymore. We're just gonna not go to the Zoom meeting. And we did not tell my parents this. We simply stopped showing up and we started the moving process. Didn't tell them either of those things. Within about three weeks of us stopping attending, um, we got a note from my parents asking us, you know, we noticed you haven't been out recently and on, on the Wednesday night church, and we wanted to know if there's anything we can do to help with that. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're the reason we're not there. Um, and so I just level with them. I'm like, the abuse is getting to me, it's giving me panic attack and anxiety, and I can't manage it anymore. And we've heard complaints from other people who are saying that the quality of the meeting is going downhill because of this sort of behavior, so we're just not going to come.